Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs. I am Count Chuckula, and today, obviously, we're gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an interview, just like full stop, all on camera. Pen BBS, Artemisia Absintion. L. Fuck, that was a focus. Focus on the fucking ink. Good lord, I can already tell how well this is gonna go. Um, it's beautiful. I haven't used this ink too much yet, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, now, Artemisia absinthium, if you don't know, is the Latin name for Grand Wormwood. All right, Grand Wormwood, used in this guy. There's some wormwood right there before your very eyes. It's a drink called absinthe. Okay, you may or may not have heard of this before. And some of the things you've probably heard are quite wrong. It doesn't make you hallucinate, you're not supposed to set it on fire, and uh, it's not illegal. So, I'm going to prepare a glass of this, because it's the weekend, and I'm tired, and work sucks all the time. So here I have a glass. This kind of glass is called the Pontalier, which is named after a region on like the Swiss-French border where uh, Grand, Wormwood, Grand Wormwood is cultivated for use in absinthe. So, pop this bottle open. This is some strong stuff. It is 60% alcohol by volume. Now, as you'll be able to see, I got two sugar cubes sitting on the top. You're really only supposed to use one, but I like a little bit of a sweet tooth. And uh, this metal thing on top is called an absinthe spoon, and I'll give you a closer look at that in a bit. Um, so we're gonna pour the absinthe over the sugar cubes. Now, the way the glass is shaped, is that a little bowl at the bottom? It's proper dosage, all right? And then you see these cuts along the top? We are going to keep that in frame. There we go, that's nice, it's pretty. We'll turn it that way so the label isn't all fuckity. All right, beautiful. All right, so here I have a carafe of ice cold water. Um, and we are going to slowly drip this over the sugar, across the spoon, and watch the magic happen because it is kind of magical. I've never tried this specific absinthe before, but all the other authentic absinthe that I've tried have done this magical thing. Slowly drip. You can buy things that will slowly drip it over for you. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. Do you see it? You see what I'm talking about? See that magic? There's nothing but absinthe and ice water and sugar. And it is not the sugar that is making it do that magical, beautiful, ghostly cloud effect thing. It's just the way it reacts with everything else. Now, see, I don't want to splash water everywhere, but you're supposed to drip it from a little bit higher so that you can get that sugar dissolved. Okay, almost there, almost there. Now, if I did this the way I was supposed to do it, that sugar would not be there anymore. So, we're going to take it and mix it in. We have to chop it a little bit. This particular absinthe is from France. That is where most absinths are made. And one of the places that it was the most popular. But it got a bad rap because there was a wine blight, or a vine blight, from the French wine company back in think it was the 19th century. Um, so they made up a bunch of bullshit about absinthe so that people wouldn't drink it and they would buy, they'd keep buying wine because wine was getting more expensive because there wasn't enough of it made. All right, so this is an absinthe spoon. It's got these holes in it um, that allows the water and sugar to drip through. It's got this little hook so it stays nicely on the side of the glass. It's kind of amazing. This whole thing is called a ritual, um, the French ritual if we're going to be specific about it. There are other ways to drink absinthe. This is not the only way. You don't need to have all this stuff to drink absinthe. Um, but this is just what I like. Now, taste is very interesting. It's kind of bitter. Um, that's what the sugar's for. And it's got a little bit of a licorice hint to it. Not a hint. It's kind of a dominating flavor. Um, like anise and fennel and licorice. And that bitter wormwood taste. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. And not just because it gives me goth points. Um, I think it, it tastes very good. 
and I, I have a wonderful time drinking it. And it gets me pretty fucking drunk. So I am going to have at least one more glass of this, and then we're going to get on to the ink review, because that is what you're here for. Alrighty, kids. By kids, I mean humans at or above the legal drinking age in their country. Um, we're going to do this. <coughs> Yum. Alright, so uh, here's the coloring swatch. I don't have anything like this. Really, I have mm, quite a lot of greens. Um, but nothing, nothing this shade. And nothing that does that neat halo effect like that one does. See, all these greens I have are like green. This one maybe gets kind of close. This is uh, Troublemaker Espana Boulevard. Beautiful, beautiful shimmer ink. Um, and this is Colorverse. Valle Melinelli. Valles Marineris. I don't know. I've been pronouncing everything like it's French lately, so <clears throat> take that as you will. See, here is, you may know what Raw und Clean Alt Cold Grün looks like, and um, yeah, quite different. This is definitely more vibrant. This is a very unsaturated color, but it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Camera is actually pulling it up correctly. So here is, all right, when it does this ghosty white thing, that's called a louche, L-O-U-C-H-E. It's like a douche, but with an L um, instead of the D. Um, and I mean, that color is pretty close, especially in those lightest parts. Yeah, so I think they did a good job. Good job with the, uh, the inspiration there. All right, so there's my coloring, one of them. I have three now. It's one I just started, so I can't really say I have three full ones, but I have two full ones, and it's kind of driving me batty. Um, so let's take a look at this bottle. Let's take a look at this bottle. All right, let's focus. So here we have images of the Artemisia absinthium plant. Uh, this is number 310. 340. I wrote 310 on my fucking card. Ugh, whatever. Um, but yeah, see, we're in these tall kind of stalks with the leaves um and then here's some of those the they grow in, they have like these little clusters of flowers around there and oh oh my depth perception is kind of interesting but yeah see those those look like that these little flowers and there's the seeds and whole cross sections and all that stuff it's nice. I really like that this ink exists. Um, I got it from Van Ness. Van Ness is my preferred marketplace for fountain pens, inks especially, because um, they give four milliliter samples and you cannot go wrong with that. Um, I would much rather spend three dollars on a four milliliter sample than a dollar fifty on the two milliliter sample from um, other places that are popular in the community. Alrighty, uh, chromatography. Okay, so here is the one that I did normally. Don't let it dry, just go right in. Oh shit, all right, that's probably gonna happen a lot and I'm gonna apologize in advance because I'm not gonna say sorry every time. Uh, it goes from gray into just green. It's beautiful, um, I like it. See, the water went up pretty far, um, but the ink doesn't, so obviously this is very, unsaturated. I almost said desaturated, but that would mean that it was once saturated. Uh, so there's that, and then here is the one that I let dry. Um, see the difference? How cool is that? That line got way darker. It's way more gray. It's just pure gray. There's no green in it. There's green in here, but there's no green here. And all the green just kind of got pushed up. It's really nice. See, this yellow reminds me of the yellow of the flowers of the absinthe plant. And then this is the leaves. And then this is the gray darkness of my soul. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, I figured that'd be kind of neat. Cool. Cool. All right, so I got all the paper that I usually use <coughs> for my ink testing. Um, 
and we'll go through those in a minute. Pens I'm gonna use. Here's a Twisby Eco in extra fine. Extra fine. Whatever, you can't even fucking see the nib anyway. Who cares? Uh, the Twisby Eco in broad. I love these pens for ink reviews because it's just. You know, I don't love the pens. I love the nibs. Um, and then this is the Jinhao X750 with a Fude nib. So these were just inked maybe half an hour ago. This was inked maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, it was around the time I first got the ink. I don't remember exactly when, but that's the thing. Okay, so. First step, let's zoom. Oop, oop, go, come on, be my friend. Alright, alright. It's probably gonna be disastrous as hell. Uh, go this way. This is. Ninety grams per square meter. Oop, I'll do brand with the food day. All right. Couldn't fit it all. Look at look at that shading. Look at that shading. Look at that. Look, look at that. You looking at that? Uh, I'm curious as to why the beginning of the P looks like that. So this pen was clean when I put the ink in, so I don't know if it's time that did that, or if it's some other mysterious goblin magic. It's the green fairy. The green fairy. All right, let's do the pen names. Forgot my hook on the W. Flow is amazing on this ink. It just, it just goes. And it's working out really well with these pens. Today is the 24th of January, 2020. So that means that yesterday was National Handwriting Day. So we're gonna pretend that this is my video for National Handwriting Day, which is a day late. Um, but I had shit to do. This is called the X7 Food Day. Whoops. All right. So we'll check us some dry time. Make sure my hands aren't greasy. Just rub them on myself. Whew. All right. 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 This is gonna be a very long video, so you better you better be prepared for this. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. So like. See, look, you swipe that as soon as you write it. Dis disappears. Um, Coolio. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, fuck. I hate oh, my God. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you dry times. Um, soon enough. <laughs> it's like, see, I go by, like, the light reflecting off of it, and from this angle, I can't see shit. Yeah, look at that. Nice and... Nice and wet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
it's not dry yet. Um, it takes at least six seconds. Remember this guy. Whoop. Bam. Um, it's still not dry. All right, all right. Um, are we doing a water test? We're doing a water test. I'll do all the water tests kind of at the end because I have a feeling that based on the chromatography it's going to do some cool stuff if we add water once it dries. Um, we want to give that a little bit of time to sink into the paper first. So I'm gonna back of the nib and do a big old swatchy swatch. If you're wondering how like I do my ink reviews, all the stuff that I do behind the scenes before I show you the dried pages at the end, um, this is how it goes. This is how I do it. Nya, 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 nya. That's dry now. Um, so I don't know how much time's elapsed. I shouldn't do videos when I'm drinking. Uh, oh, who cares? Who cares? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna let that go. We'll take a look at all these. And the here we have Fabriano Echo. stuck on my cord. Oh my god, I hope that wasn't making a bunch of noise in the meantime. I'm so sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. It did it again. You see that? It's very weird. Is that three, four? Oh, I burped again. My bad. I'm not going to put the L. Because we don't need it. We know there's an L. It's there. It's our friend. We love it forever. Okay. That's an E. It doesn't look like it, but it is. T W S B I O E X T R A F N. Ditto marks. Broad. X seven food day. Whoo! <clears throat> Boom. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Whoop. It's gone. It's not gone, you can see it, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm not gonna... Whatever. Who gives a fuck about dry times? It doesn't take an, an exorbitant amount of time. It's a normal amount of dry time for a wet fountain pen ink. It's not like a... I don't know. It's not crazy pants. Oop, coming unscrewed. Dude, this is a lot. It's a lot of ink. Can put down. I love these food nibs. They're so smooth. Uh, <sighs> ah. Ooh. Um, but yeah, that's already dry. Even though I smeared some of it, but it's fine. It's 
So, so what's going on in your lives? I hope everything is going well for you. Thank you to everyone who is currently sitting through this. Because that means that you're doing it out of love. And my entire moral worldview is predicated on love. And honesty and integrity and being good. Just overall being good. And I don't see how there's anything wrong with it, but some people do. And it freaks me out. It bothers me. Like, I'm all into all this spooky stuff, but this is for the aesthetic. I don't like... I don't want people to die, you know? Like, I say I want to die, because I romanticize death, and my life is not the best thing ever. But, like, do I really, though? No. No, I want to have a good life. I want to have a good life. I want to be able to be happy and feel love because it's the most amazing thing in the entire universe that we know of so far that I don't I wish I knew why that was doing that is there some ink in the cap let me just oh yeah oh that's doing it okay <laughs> so it wasn't the ink being cool all right I'm gonna pour some of those water in here I'm gonna shake it. Oh, oh, oops. <laughs> I'm so glad that was ever so slightly out of frame. Um, don't drink and write, kids. Don't drink and write. Okay. Whoa, look at that. It's like a. It's bleeding. Okay, so. Ugh. I should be pausing the recording, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna upload this entire fucking thing to YouTube. And it's gonna get five views. The same four people. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I just threw the cap across the room. Oh. It's fine. I got it. I got this. Oh no. There. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I just got that red-tinted water all over everything. And, uh... I had to clean that up. This cap is still dirty. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at the shading on that ink. And tell me you're not impressed. Because if you tell me you're not impressed, you're a fucking liar. Or you don't like shading, in which case we can't be friends anymore. Because you're not a human being. You don't have eyes. You're dead to me. Just kidding, I love you. Um, look at that. How, it's nice. It's nice. I, I like this ink a lot. It's unique. I haven't seen a lot like this. There's, of course, no bleeding. No feathering. No spread. No echo. No sheen. No sheen. It's not saturated enough for sheen. Um, same thing on the clear front. Oh, no! Oh, fuck me. <sighs> uh, you know what? Who cares? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, all right. Ooh. That last little sip was a little hefty. Yeah. Here we go. Right yeah. ADGM2 <laughs> Alright, so ignore everything that I was saying about how cool it was when it started writing kind of red. Uh, that's not the ink, that's my own complete dumbassery. This video looks a little bit darker than my videos normally do, but the color is showing up perfectly accurate to the way it looks in person, so I am not, I'm not messing with it. See, if you write with an extra fine, it looks gray. 
you could get away with that being a gray. But then once you get a little more ink down, it's totally green. I mean, it's green regardless. Is it E? No, it is I. I was doing it right the whole time. And I just fucked myself up. Dot. <laughs> you know, I love the idea of dot grid paper. But in practice, at least for me, it always ends up coming out kind of cramped. You know what I mean? Because the, the lines, there's not as much space as there is in a, like a regular ruled paper. So there's the Leclerc Fontaine, and there's the Rhodia, and my writing fits a lot better on these lines than it does on the dot grid. Um, but I do like having, a, it's, I'm not speaking coherently right now. Uh, sorry about that. So um, we're just going to carry on. Of kind of game plan before I started this, and like giving myself some rules to follow, but I didn't. I just, I just want to write. I want to play with pens. I want to feel good. Boom! Yeah, look at that. Hey, now, hey, now, now. Seeing this corrosion to me. So winded from that. <clears throat> I don't know if we're gonna get to the water chest. I might just like barf and pass out by the time that time comes. Cool. 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 It's so nice. This ink is very pretty. Let's see, can we get a little bit more? Yeah, fuck yeah, that's, I love inks like this, I love, see, I'm not the fan, the biggest fan of color, um, like, 99.9% .9 of my wardrobe is black, and the other 1% is gray, and it's just pastel black, so that I don't lose goth points, um, this Tomori River. Sixty-eight gram cream. Oop, oop. Maybe someday I'll use these sheets for a real ink review. So nobody has to watch this ever. <laughs> Ooh, oh yeah, okay, I, d I was doing that right. Let's pretend I fit the whole thing. Oh my god, it feels so good to write with this broad nib on this paper. I love it, I love it so much. Oop, let me get that out of the way, okay.
know, your, your opinions may vary, but um, some people might think that lightnings like this don't aren't very legible when they're in an extra fine nib, but I think this one's kind of fine. Um, it's not that bad. It's light. It's definitely light. There's no getting around that. Um, ooh, I'm gonna break something by the time this is over. I'd pinky swear. Um, like, I don't know if I would want to take notes in this. Um, but if you're doing just a piece of writing... Like, uh, I don't know, something like that. That you don't need to reference clearly and concisely at a later date. Um, this thing is amazing. I, I can't get over it. It's so pretty. And it's gone. Oop. Oh no, I got a little bit of splurge. Put it on my hand. There we go. Boom. Cool. All right. Boop. Look at that. Nice big smear. Mm. Smear it. Smear it. Good. Yeah. I don't even want to touch that. I'm just going to... Boom. Okay. Eww. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this shading on this paper. That is stunning. Like that halo of oop, the halo effect and like <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the and the writing is just it's so nice. It's so beautiful. And I'm not just saying that because I'm like halfway to wasted. <laughs> It's it's true. You saw it. You you're looking at it. Uh, and these pages don't have lines. The next three. Whoa! Huh. I keep letting my foot hit the downy part on my chair, and it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> this is still my way, River. Fifty-two gram. In white. <laughs> My mustache is itchy. Put the L on that one. Just because we can. Whoop. Whoop. I'm not even going to say anything about it. 
You know what I'm gonna say about it. You know. You know. You know you're here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um. Yes. A plus gold star. Oop, I missed. See, that tries pretty quick. Uh, get the bow rod. Boom. Gone. If you're left-handed, I do not recommend this. So if you swipe over it, it's just not... It's, it's not going to be very easily recoverable. I need to watch my angle with this food nib. So, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, there's some. Yeah, there's less ink in this than I thought there was. Oh no, are we going to be able to finish the tests? Stay tuned and find out. Stay tuned like a nice nib. Goody, goody, goody. All right. Oh my god. Nobody's going to watch this all the way through. At least not in one go. It's going to be like 40 fucking minutes long. But, but if I cared, I would stop and not be super lazy and actually edit my videos in some way, shape, or form. I almost forgot what I did for the last little corner. Let's tap it, get a little bit of extra, extra juice in certain spots. Whoop, there it is. Hard to see in the extra fine on this paper. But look at that broad nib and the food a nib. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, HP Premium, 32 pound, laser jet, paper, I hate it, it feels wrong, I don't like writing on it, this is the smooth side, this is the slightly less smooth side, excuse me, and uh, I don't like writing on this paper, I mean it doesn't, Let's see, is there bleed so far, it's ghosting, you can see it, it's hard to see, but you can see it. Oh my god, focusing is just not happening today for some butt-fuckety reason. Alright, let's just keep going. We can we can push through this. We got this. We, we, we are fountain pen users. We are used to worse. It's like it's, it gives more feedback, which is weird. say about it. I don't know how to properly articulate the feelings. Oh, I know I said before that it's like you're riding through a layer of scum. I don't know, I don't know if that's the right way to, to talk about it. Whoop. Cool. Cool. One more sip. Ah, that was a gulp, not a sip. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Fuck that. Um. Dries very fast on this paper. Everything dries pretty fast on this paper. Yeah, see? If you're a lefty and 
Do you want to use this ink? Maybe you should use an absorbent paper like this one. Ooh, see this pen's running out of ink. I don't know if we'll... Uh, oh, fuck. Let's... Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it with a chainsaw. Chainsaw in my butt. Ooh, uh, I don't usually fill my pens like that. I like to use a syringe just for safety reasons. Just like, you know, what if the converter falls off and the whole section just goes right into the bottle and I can't get it out? That's, that's a nightmare that I don't want to have to deal with. Um, so I usually use an ink syringe and I'm very good at using an ink syringe. So I can just magically, just not even, I'm just totally guessing, and I just pull up the exact right amount that it takes to fill the converter. Even if there's already ink in the converter, I always, like, get just, it's, it's weird, I don't know, I'm a witch. Um, I swear, it's like my only magic power is filling a fountain pen converter with a syringe. It's good power, it's useful, I like it. it makes me feel good. God, and we still have to do the fucking water test, so I need to just speed this along, speed this along, speed this along. But no, I'm not gonna rush. No. Fuck that. I'm I'm going to enjoy myself. I wanna play with pens. I don't have any friends to play with pens with in real life. As if this wasn't real life, but I mean in person. Oh my god, see, this paper is just fucking bullshit. It'll just, like, suck the ink out of your pen and not let you write with it. There we go, that's better. Prime the goddamn feed. I don't have to prime the fucking feed. But, but I do it anyway, because that's, that's the way it'll work. Alright, shading's good. I like the shading on this. Take a look at the back. Bleed! Ha! Ha! Fucking bleed. This is 32 pound paper. This is the highest weight of any paper in any of my paper tests, and it bleeds. Um, I don't really know why people recommend this to early fountain pen users. I mean, I have an idea why, because it's, it's a thicker paper, and a lot of inks won't bleed through it. Um, and you can get it in a ream of like 500 sheets for like 15 bucks. Um, so it's a good, it's a good savings that way. But like, you're way better off not ever touching it. Let's be real here. Okay, okay. So um, this here is the worst paper that I've ever used in my life. This is the copy paper we have at work. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a name for it. I think it's, it's a smart source on the outer packaging. <laughs> so we're just gonna. Oop! I don't know how to write S's anymore. Ah, uh, this hurts! Oh my god! Ah. Uh, okay, this is twenty pound. Now, if anybody asks me the difference between, like, paper measured in pounds and paper measured in grams per square meter, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Except that, like, this is all, like, Americanized. <clears throat> oh, fuck. And the imperial system with the pounds and stuff like that. Um, wrong bit. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. Oh, man. It's smoother to write on than the HP. I'm just going to say that. And that makes me very upset. Ooh, uh. Oh, shit. I put the I on the M.
So you know, put the, I, the dot on the U. Fuck it. Whatever. It's fine. Welcome to Drunky Nibs. I'm Count Creepula. And today we're going to be talking about an ink. Uh, T-W-S-B. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. Don't write with an extra fine or fine nib of them on this garbage fucking paper. Oh, I had to really control myself and not just crumbling it into a million pieces. I am using, I'm like practically not even holding the pen to the paper. Just like floating it across and it gets hella feedback. Sometimes that kind of pencil-like feedback is a good thing, but th no. It's not as bad in the broad. But any kind of feedback is never as bad in a broad nib as it is an extra fine. You can see the, uh, the gin has writing a lot more consistently since we refilled it, so um, that's a good thing. I've never had a problem with these Jinho X750s with the food in it. My only issue with the Jinho X750 is the weight and my inability to cap it. Um, otherwise, I really like them. I just wish they were a little bit lighter so they'd be better for everyday carry. Um, but as it stands, they're a little heavy. That dries instantly. And... That doesn't dry instantly on this paper. That is a first. That never fucking happens. Hey! Hey, how about that? Cool. If, if you've watched any of my other ink reviews, you'll know that this paper, everything dries in like a second or less. Um, but that's just smeared immediately. That's, that's really cool. Um, I don't know if it's cool. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Do... Oop, oop, oop. I am doing way better than I thought I might for recording a video on three or four glasses of absinthe. <laughs> writing quality has certainly suffered. Um, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? The owl cares. It's like, who? He's the who who cares. Or she. The owl could be a girl. Or the owl could be non-binary. So you have to think about what the owl wants. Because you got to think about those owls with love. Love, love, love. Cool. Cool. Look, I mean... Normally, when I write on this paper for an ink review, um, I end up absolutely despising everything about the way it looks. Ugh, this looks so much better on every other paper but this one. But I kind of like it. That, like, woolly texture and, like, there's really not bleed. Well, not, not, I didn't mean to say bleed. I meant to say feathering. There's no feathering, really. You could look at that. There's just a little bit here and there. But even in that super wet food aid nib, you don't get spiky feathers. Like you do with some other inks. This is very well behaved. It's got some spots of bleed. But this is nowhere near as bad as I've, as I've seen with other inks. With this paper. So if you have to deal with like super garbage paper. Wherever it is that you may reside. Or work or whatever. Um, you can get away with this. You won't. It will not be illegible. Due to the feathering. It'll just be illegible due to your own shitty handwriting. <laughs> Assuming your handwriting is shitty. 
But I don't like to assume that. Because even my handwriting is shitty. Look at this. This is nowhere near as good as I want it to be. I take inspiration from Spencerian penmanship, but, but I am nowhere near able to call my my handwriting Spencerian. Um, <clears throat> yet. Yet. But what I need to do is do my fucking drills, and then maybe I can be on the way. This is my favorite paper. This is Maram Andamasani, 80 grams per square meter. Um, all right, we're gonna leave the name on that side. I wanna write on the blank side, just cause I don't want the lines to get in the way of how amazing this ink might look on this paper. Oh my god, compared to the other, the last couple papers we did, writing this, it's just butter. It's like I covered the paper in Astro Glide. Um, it's so smooth. Wow. I don't think you understand exactly the level of ecstasy that I am at right now <laughs> with how smooth this paper is with that pen. Oh my god, all right, we'll see how it feels with the broad. Oh, wait a minute, that's the pen I'm supposed to be using right now. Oh. Yes. Wow. It's so smooth, this paper. It's a fucking dream to write on. You know what? If you're watching this and you've never used this paper before, send me a message. Creepynibs at gmail.com. We could leave a comment down below. I will, of course, read it. I love getting comments and reading comments. But I will more than happily send you a sample of this paper if you've never used it before. Because I think everybody should do it at some point. If you love fountain pens and inks, this this paper is it's my favorite. I love it. I love it so much. Extra. Whatever. T. I know it's the eco. I don't have any other Twisby pens except the Go. And that's not in an extra fine. That's in a 1.1 millimeter stub. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so smooth. And the shading, look at the shading. Look at the shading. You just have to be careful with papers this smooth. It looks like you know. Ah! You gotta be careful because, like, if you're, you're going, you might get a, might get away on you. That's why some people like sailor pens. I've never used one, but they say that it has like a pencil-like feedback that's kind of trademark for it. And uh, yeah, that might make writing on papers like this a little bit easier. Um, let's do that smeary thing. And I know I didn't go over the dry times in this, um, but they're not exorbitant. <sighs> oh, look at that sh the shading and the halos and... Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not being overdramatic. Just for like video sake. I'm I seriously I don't know, it's so dumb. I don't know if it's dumb, but it's weird. I get such a marvelous feeling writing with a fountain pen. 
on good paper with a nice ink. It, I don't know. I don't know why. I wish I knew why. I've always loved pens and paper. Like, when I was in elementary, middle school, and high school, I would have a pocket filled with, like, six different kinds of mechanical pencils. Pencils and pens and... Um... I tried writing with dip pens in school once because I wanted to feel like I was at Hogwarts. Um, that did not work out. Do not try to write with a dip pen in school. It's not gonna be fun. Everyone's gonna look at you like you're crazy. Um, and you're just gonna have blobs of ink all over your notes. Cause the paper that you most likely have in high school and middle school is not going to be good enough for, for inky pen usage. But I had Pilot Varsities. Um, I didn't use them all the time because they would bleed through everything, so I didn't, I didn't want to use them as much because they weren't as useful. But now, now that I'm an adult and I know about the choice of pens and inks and paper, um, I can get into a hobby that I've always dreamed of. Oh, I got water everywhere. See, I'm trying to take a sip of water so that I'm not quite so dehydrated. Um, so let's look at the back. There's no bleed. I think I scratched through the paper there. It's, yeah, I did. You could tell. You could tell. Um, cool. Alright. Alright, so... Oh, oh, no. Heck. Fuck me with a fucking fuck stick. Whoa. Alright. Writing samples for Pen BBS Art Media Art Artemisia Absinthium L number three hundred and forty. All right, so um, um, we're gonna take this water brush. This is the medium size. Out of all the sizes. Okay. And, oh, what are you? Oh, you're a blot card. I was gonna say, I didn't write on watercolor paper with this. Oop, that's Fabriano. Gotta get the clear fontaine first. Okay. Ignore that, because I'm fucking dumb. Oh, this paper's all curly. I don't want it to be. It's okay. Okay. Let's sit for a couple seconds. Blot it up, see what happens. Does it turn gray like I thought it might? Kind of. Not really. Right? Let's go Fabriano Echo Qua. Just go over it. Hell yeah. Alright, I kind of scrubbed that. It's still, it's quite water resistant. Not waterproof. Obvs. Because this part is lighter than this part. But I scrubbed that with a water brush. And you can still read it. Okay. 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 Keep talking. Keep talking. Oh. We'll leave that sit. We'll leave that sit. Let's go to the Tomoe River. Oh my god, I don't want to touch it. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I'm not even doing the water test on that one. Nope. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Camera's drunk too. It's fine. All right, let's mop this up. So, oh, that did the thing that I was expecting it to do. See, it's gray in those spots where the water was. Neat. 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 All right, do the water test on this one. And then. I keep knocking over the goddamn camera. And 
shitty copy paper. I don't want to know what that's going to look like. Blood up the HP now. Oh, that looks gross. I don't like that. Oh, there's water everywhere. All right. 52 kind of pushed it away a little bit. But you can still see there's gray there. It's underneath. It's there. Uh, blood this up. Ew, ew, ew. Though it did the thing. It did the thing. There's the gray and the, the green washed away. Uh, where's my marmon? Where's the marmon? Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. Let's blot. Boop. And did it again. It's the gray and the green washed away, and that's totally legible. And you could definitely save your notes if you spilled things all over them while you were drunk and absent. Uh, so, yeah, that was Pen BBS number 340 Artemisia Absinthium L. Um, a wonderful ink that I would recommend to anybody who is currently watching this and anyone who's not watching this because there are going to going to definitely be more people not watching this than watching this. So, um, I had fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. I hope you learned something from this. I hope that, um, you don't hate me by now because I made a video that's 50 minutes long. Uh, but yeah, have a good day. Punch Nazis. Enjoy your life and love everyone you meet except, I don't know. No, just love everyone. I mean, I only hate Nazis because I love people, so, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing. All right, bye.